Hey, my name is Niranjan and I am the co-creator of Handron Mazes. So Handron Mazes is an application, it's a SaaS application which is cloud-based, you don't have to install anything and this application helps you create high quality mazes and mazebook layouts that you can use in your KDP business, all right? So in this particular video, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of the interface that you see when you purchase the front-end product. So what I've done is I've created a review account here with the front-end access only, all right? So let me quickly log in. Right, so this is the console where I'll be getting access to all my products. Now, as you can see, everything shows by now. These are all different products that are available. Like, you know, that's, that's basically a part of a suite of applications. So you, like, these are not included as a part of hand-drawn mazes. These are all separate applications. Now, I have access to hand-drawn mazes, as I said. And what I'll do is I'll just click here. Now, it's a good idea to go ahead and click on this particular video or the, con the main video that you see to get started if you're new to the interface, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, since I have purchased the front-end product, I see this Access Now button here, and Buy Now is what, um, you know, I, I see this as Buy Now because this particular account does not have access to the front-end, uh, to the upgrade offers, okay? If I purchase these upgrade offers, then these would be visible, all right? So let's get started with the Access Now uh, button. Let's click on the Access Now button and go to uh, Default Collection. So this is the interface that we have for hand-drawn mazes, all right? So as you can see, there are about one, two, three, four, and of course there's, there's one uh, maze type missing, which will be the fifth maze type, all right? So total there'll be five different maze types that will be available in the front-end product. So when you log in, you will see five of these. Now each maze type will have a number of unique mazes, right? So for example, maze type one, has about 30 different unique mazes and they are they are clubbed together because there is something common about them all right there is something that is um, you know uh, common that binds them together there are some features that is kind of you know there in every single maze that is included in maze type 1 so essentially these five different types of mazes have certain unique characteristics and then within one group there are a certain number of mazes or designs or templates that give you the variety to work with when it comes to creating high quality KDP books, all right? So let me give you a rough idea about what this maze types are. Please do not get worried about uh, two, three, four missing because those are, those possibly are parts of, uh, you know, uh, parts of the upgrade office, right? All right, and by the time you see this, when I'm creating this video, we are still in the process of beta testing this, all right? So by the time you see this, this may be polished and you might see one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't really matter how it is named. Fact of the matter is you are going to get five unique maze types here and these maze types will totally combine to form about 150 maze templates, all right? So that's one of the premium features that we have in here, like you know, 150 unique templates that you can use to create unlimited number of maze layouts, maze book layouts, and you know, use them in your business, okay? Right, so I'm sorry, I just got dragged away with it. Okay, so let me explain what, what this is all about, all right? So all you have to do is when you click on this, you'll be able to drag it here. Let me explain the maze types and then we will go into the different features that are there and I'll explain what you should be expecting from this application, all right? So this one here, as you can see, there are two important traits associated with this maze type. One is you can place an element here and an element here. Those would be the entry and exit, right? Now the thing is the user can actually take any path associated with this, right? There are no blockers, right? There is nothing that is blocking the path. So this can be handy for teaching confidence, like, you know, giving confidence to kids because no matter what path they take, they will be able to arrive at the destination that's one way of looking at it so the second option that we have is you could actually use this to customize the routes you know you, let's say you want to block this particular path you could put a blocker here for example you could take a carrot you could put a carrot here you could put the rabbit here and then block this thing with probably a lion's head all right so the rabbit has to go to the carrot but the rabbit cannot mess up the path because if it reaches the lion, then it will be eaten up, right? So that's the idea that you can you can use and you know you could customize it in a way 
that is completely unique to you like you know probably nobody else will become uh, will be doing it that way and this is where the story aspect of these mazes come into picture all right so that's maze number maze type one for you we go through this in a lot more detail in the members training area and i'll probably be creating a lot more videos focused on uh, just how to use it and how to creatively create uh, like you know go about creating your content so that your book stands out all right um miss the second mistake that we have here mistake two mistake five now the beauty of this one is um you know you start here right this is the entry point and there are three different exit points so think about it think about um you've got you've got um uh, you've got a map there's a kid with a map and uh, like you know there's there's a treasure hunt going on there's an island and there's treasure on it right and these two lead to pirate ships so the person here has to go and reach the treasure map that is here if they take the wrong path they would end up with uh, i mean you know in front of the pirates and that is not something that they want right so that's the idea so there will be three entry points and three different exit points and the stories that you can create using this is what i shared with you right now okay let's talk about real quick um of this one now this one is a complex maze but it doesn't really have um, like you know a way in which the user can go wrong it's more about it's more about helping the kids have patience right it's all about teaching patience to kids because they have to spend quite a bit of effort in like you know going through these and eventually arriving at it. they're not going to go wrong but they are going to spend some time they are going to be patient while they solve this particular problem all right let's look at the fourth type of maze that we have as a part of the front end offer now this is how it's going to work so the stories behind this is think about a situation where you have four different characters and they are coming down with with uh, with a parachute all right and they have a certain demarcation right let's say their shirts have a b c and d written on them and then here we have uh, like you know landing pads or uh, trampolines or, or whatever you can think of you know uh, and then there are a b c d written on it so the idea is to guide those uh, you know, uh, guide those uh, characters through to the right, uh, you know, trampoline or right location where they should be landing. Okay. Another way of using this could be um, think about having uh, animals, having uh, the grown up animals, like say a mother, mother's here, right? You know, you've got a goat, a rabbit, a tiger, a lion, and then you have the cubs here, all right? You have the kids here. Right. So that could be another concept. So this is the idea behind this maze type. We've not got the fifth maze type as of now. So I'm going to update this video at a later point in time to include that. But I hope you have an idea about what is it that you're getting in the front end offer. All right. Now let's look at the features that are available to you. Okay. Now this is the first element that you see, like you know, the mazes that you see when you actually purchase the front end product. This is the QuickBook Creator. This is not applicable to the front end purchase. You get access to this when you purchase the uh, first upgrade offer. And I'll be creating a separate video explaining how an interface uh, looks like when you have access to front end and the first upgrade offer. Okay. Here you can upload your own images. And when you upload your images, you'll be able to, like, you, know, you would have used this earlier, right? You would have used this earlier, like, you know, um, uh, where you can upload one image and then import it. To your canvas and of course like you know you can work with the mazes uh, let me see um, so let me get this maze here and you know you can put some something here as well all right so now let's go back to images i showed you how to upload one image you could upload multiple images if you want right so let's go ahead and uh, upload maybe a few more right so these are the images that we have and now let's say uh, we've got you know, uh, we've got this fun looking kid pirate, right? So this fun looking pirate and we would want it, want him to go and seal the shape, right? So this is how uh, upload image works. If you want to clear them, just go ahead and clear it. If you click on this, it will ask you for your permission because, you know, it's going to remove everything from this area as well as from the pages. So just be a bit careful, read the comments and uh, understand how the system works 
and you'll be able to work with them all right so that's about uh, upload images you can upload your images there's no limit on how much how many images you can upload um, so that's there for you uh, so you 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 have the complete freedom to actually design your books uh, right here in this particular canvas all right now here are some design elements you've got some arrows we'll be adding a few more variations few more designs for you to uh, work with and these arrows will help you like you know define the entry and exit points right so that's there but this design element section is going to have a lot more content that is created by our uh, design uh, team in-house and this content is going to be available as a part of upgrade 3 okay you'll be getting that as a part of upgrade 3 so this, since this is a account which has access to front-end product only you don't see anything else apart from these arrows all right so the global settings again this is something that is available for the first upgrade uh, the, for, for customers who purchase the first upgrade offer therefore you are not seeing anything in here right now okay paid settings like you know i'll not go into the details but most of the uh, settings uh, aspects remain same like you've got let me show one particular maze here so that i can explain the features that are here right you've got text options you can add the text right and then the settings can be changed if you see here there are limited color palette there is an unlimited color palette that is available for the front end of uh, for the OTO buyers, OTO one buyers. But for the front end offer, you get limited options here. For the front end offer, you do get access to the entire set of 900 fonts, so there's no problem there. Um, we've got font size; you can alter them. All right. Um, you can add a page here, remove a page here by clicking this. You can create clone. Now remember, when you clone as in in the front end interface right if you have purchased the front end product and you clone this you can clone one page right so we have one page here and then the solution if i clone this what happens is the page number two is created all right so that's something that we can do in the front end offer so if you want to create 10 clones then you have to click this option 10 times like like so all right and then you will see that these pages are created right there is a bulk loan feature which is available as a part of the first upgrade offer where you can directly input more than like you know, any number of pages that you want to create and we'll take care of it right so these are this this these are the options that you can use to move the pages up and down and this is where you can download as pdf download as png download as jpg you cannot download this file as pptx file this is an upgrade offer again this will be available in the first upgrade if you purchase the first upgrade this will be available all right similarly if you go for global download you'll be able to download as pdf as png and jpg pptx is not available because this is the first upgrade feature all right and uh, when i talk about the maze itself you've got this ability to fit the screen you've got the ability to change um i'm sorry this uh, this this feature is not available as a part of the front end offer but uh, this is by mistake that it has been included in here okay so what you can do is you can go for black and white designs in the front end offer when it comes to color you'll be able to get that done in the oto1 offer so this is a mistake that is there i'll be showing this to you uh, i'll be updating this to the team so that they can take care of it all right style path now there are uh, multiple styles in which you can showcase your solution right so for example this one right when you click on style one you will see this solution that is there now what is the reason why is the solution showing up here the reason is you want to view it so that you can conveniently work with it right because if you have multiple uh, pages let's say you have 20 or 30 different pages right it can be very difficult for you to scroll through to the solution page see what's going on there and then come back and do the edits here that's why this is just created to make your life easy so that you can view it on the same page and the moment you switch this off right the moment you click outside of it it just goes off right so you know that this is the maze page and any solution that you see is just a visual thing to help you out all right you can see that there are some other solution styles that are disabled these are disabled because these are available as upgrade offers this the all of these options the remaining 11 options they come with the first upgrade option all right so uh, that's there the next thing is view path again this is an option that is not available as a part of your front end project uh, front end purchase it's a part of the first upgrade and uh, you, you'll be able to see what what this feature is in the next video that i create for you which will be explaining by demonstrating an account which has the access 
to the front end as well as OT1 or the first upgrade. All right. Now, this is select path. Now, this is applicable to some of the mazes. What happens is these mazes can have multiple solutions, right? And now you can see how this one maze is capable of giving you three different solution paths and then you can work with them to create your story and find a path that you're comfortable with. In fact, you could just leave it open-ended and let the kids have uh, confidence built up by just taking the road, any road they want and then coming, coming, I mean, you know, coming victorious at the end of the end of the exercise. All right. But if you want to choose one particular, one particular path, you could go here and activate that. So for example, let's say I want to, I'm interested in path number two. So what I would do is I would click on path number two and that would be activated. As you can see, this has now changed, right? Let me just maximize this so that you can view it properly. All right. And the moment I go out of it, you will see that like you know, the path is not visible. The reason why it is not visible is because this is your puzzle. This is your maze. This is not the solution. The only reason why we are showing this, uh, showing the solution is to help you visualize how it looks like. Okay. Let's say I want to go for path number three. What I would do is I would click on apply and then the maze would change. The path would change. If I want to go, go back to one again, Here's what I would do. I would just click on apply and then it would change again, right? So you can understand the level of flexibility that you're getting. Now, let me show you something really cool here, okay? So what we have done is like here, you are unable to visualize the difference between uh, the features, this particular feature, right? It doesn't change anything, right? So let me do one thing. Let me bring in uh, an image, okay? Let's go ahead and upload an image from this, all right? And let's place this image here. Now you can see what's going on, right? So the maze is transparent inside. Sometimes you need it, right? Sometimes you need it. So the maze is transparent inside. And if you have a background, then it's going to be extremely difficult. It is going to be extremely difficult for uh, us to create content that people like because you know the background would be cutting through the maze and it would be very difficult to work with so one of the ways that we have here which is very easy super simple and is going to help you a lot is you can turn that maze to uh, you know uh, to a white filled interior right now you can see that the maze is still looking uh, as if uh, it's transparent what we need to do is just bring it to front once you move to front you will see that it beautifully uh, rests over the background and it can come really handy for you when you're working on your content for your look on it books. All right. So we have got these nifty features. When we right click, you can move, the, move it to back. You can move it to front. All right. And if you have multiple images, you can move to the very last of the sequence or you could move it to the immediate. Uh, I mean, you know, at the back towards the back of the immediate image that it is placed upon. Right. So all these features are there. Right. One of the things that we wanted to have was the ability to see the maze solutions right on this page. And this one here, this option here is what shows you the solution, right? Now you don't have to, I mean, you know, even if you click somewhere outside, you still can see it because you've enabled it. If you want to disable it, just go ahead and disable it and you'll see that the maze is visible. All right. If you want to delete this, just click on this and it will be deleted. So this, these are the primary features that are available to you when you make the front end purchase of uh, hand drawn mazes. And uh, I, I really hope that this was helpful. Let us know in the comments what you think about this application and how this is going to help you. And uh, you know, if you're excited about using it in your KDP business, all right. And by the way, this content is going on to our YouTube channel which we are planning to take very seriously and convert that over a period of time to a place where you can get all the information about our products, about KDP in general, and uh, you'll get a lot of information about these other design tools where we'll kind of you know, create tutorials. We really want to make it a hub of learning when it comes to Amazon KDP, okay? So please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to it so that when we upload the next one, you get intimated. Oh, by the way, I, I forgot. There's a little bell icon over there. Click on that as well. All right. Thank you. I'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section. Bye.